All okay. right, we're back. We all seem to have not killed each other over break, which is a good sign. Yep. Somehow. Good for Somehow. Stuff. Yep. And I think we're pretty happy with what we're going to do next, which is loot this place as soon as possible. Right. It's GTFO. You're basically, yep. <laughs> right. Not spend another session here, right? That's right, Bill. Yes. Right. All right. So yeah, it's it's approaching evening, but you guys wanted to like spend the rest of the late night looting everything you can, and then sleeping, and then leaving for Scoff on yeah. the next day, which would be the fourth. Are we going to Scoff? We're going wherever Nico says we could go. Nico, go. I don't know if Scoff is the smartest idea. We still have a boat that will take us to port. Do we? I mean, we had a boat three plus months ago. I mean, we got back here. I assume the boat's still there. The boat I is on. I, I assumed it was on the other side. It's of on Scott. the southern side of the island. Yeah, I think we parked at yeah, like, the south end of the island. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah it was like directly there. south of us. It, you cut out for me, Nico. Or, or originally, like, it was directly south of us. You, you, off you guys came back to Scott to get me, so I don't know where you parked. It oh, Scott is the, is the small city nearby, so. Yeah, yeah, that's where you guys came to get me, so I don't yeah. know where you parked the boat. Never mind. Oh, right, because we took the boat after. Scott is not on the ocean at all. I no, thought you were no, talking about we were going to go north for some reason, I and mean, that doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Oh, like, uh, like oh. up to the river and up to Briansk right. and shit? No. It seems like a dumb idea. We're, no, Scott all right, good. I'm, I don't have to the objections then. We're... Right. Okay, um, so I think that I, Ernest uh, will. I mentioned before that just before we ended and took a break, that Ernest was like, guard, like basically he was trying to subtly guard the exit to the cave, um, and then I think he just speaks up and says, uh, like in, just in front of everyone, like yeah, like everyone can hear this, uh, and just says, Lord W. Should we do something about Ivan? Look at Ivan. <laughs> what, what, how is Ivan responding? Uh, <laughs> is he just... Oh, Ivan? Yeah, I, I'm just like... I'm not so subtly saying, should we just kill Ivan so that he doesn't tell anyone? Oh, I think he's kind of like, hmm? what? Hmm? You know, like, he's very, like... What's going on? Well, anyway, and it's okay. like conflicted... And he actually seems angry at Ernest for bringing it up in this manner. Um, so now, um, now, yes, we have to deal with him. Nico just shoots him with his bow. Ivan, <laughs> are you on? Yeah, kill, yeah, kill just, stealer. Just shoots him. So you just what? You intend to kill him or? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Can I help? I, th I, th I think he's just going to try and run away. I'm guarding the ex I'm guarding. I, I, I'm going to stop yeah, him. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I want to block him and help. I don't think you're going to go in the right way. I'm, I'm playing that brash character trait right now. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, no, like, you guys can all help all you want. Um, If the, he comes this way, and I think we'll decide that after. Uh, and Nico shot. shoots him. If he comes this way, I'm just going to try and uh, cave his head in with my mace. Or I could test so, out the new uh, dagger, but I don't have the knife skill, so I, I'm not going to. So, uh, yeah. So, well, that's a... This is where it's like stat first skill. He's just trying to run away. So yeah. does that mean the ob is doubled for any skill tests? Uh, I think if it's... It works the other way around. Or is it, oh, it's the other way. Skills, yeah. double stats. Skills. Yeah, that. So he would he would be technically at a point five success. Okay. Okay. Either way, it's bad. Yeah. yeah. Either way, it's bad. So yeah. Oh, there you go. So yep. Just. It's kind of how does how does how does Ivan perish? I think, and, and let let's let's share, shall we? <laughs> Ernest. Sure. <laughs> uh, well, I'm helping to you. Too, so. sure. I, th I think I think 
Yvonne runs. Uh, Nico shoots him in the leg, and he goes down, and Ernest just smashes his head with his mace. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Uh, as a player, I'm like, no, but my character's instinct is to uh, always use violence or the threat of it to get what I want, and this right. is definitely that. So <laughs> I hope sure. I'm in, in trouble in terms of three other w- this is that are currently here, and well, just, I don't plan to kill. Say it does. Like, I was thinking that my bow doesn't kill him because it was only two successes on a on a you know on a bow yeah. thing. So I wounded him enough that you could just take him out. Okay, sure. Well, remember, melee stuff or not melee ranged damage is different than oh, that's true. Stuff. Yeah, but if, if that's what happens, do you, then... do you do you want the die of fate on the damage? No, <laughs> your your intent was to kill him, so he's dead. Right. Yeah. Ernest, I'd just like to say um, you probably should just declare that your instinct gets you in trouble, because of our discussion earlier about how instincts only get you in trouble when you say anything. So tell us, how does your yeah. instinct get you into trouble here? It might later. It probably will later if three witnesses go blabbing about the murder hobos that are walking around <laughs> nearby. Well, let's just, let's like, just say that's what will happen. Let's just say that's what will happen. Let's just say that will happen. Yeah, we might. Sith, do you feel like saying? Well, actually, no. I, I think say what if 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 we do go the opposite the route of say what will happen if we're not encountered again, or what might be coming back to bite us. Let's say it at the end of the session, because in this situation, our players can our characters can still just kill all the witnesses. What so, are the witnesses? There's there's Kirill. There's the three crew and Kirill. There's yeah. the three na- like basically the nameless whole, guys. Oh, they're, they're here. Okay. Yeah, everyone is here. Yep. And we just killed him in front of all of them. All right. Just want to make sure you got that point. That's what I foresee getting me in trouble. All right. Well, yeah, like I, I saw that as using the instinct, not getting in trouble yet. But the scene's not over, so. Exactly. Okay. So yeah, when I think the, like I when just his guards show up. <laughs> yeah, I think that I don't like smash his head open. There's no blood. I think I just break the I just break his spine with my mace. Okay. And then, so did, it's, did uh, you get a helping? Ed, Nico I should have actually, had a helping die with that. Okay, roll, roll, roll a d six. Uh, yeah, Edwin helps too. Like I said. <laughs> He was kind of what zoning is, the is, guy. How, how did you help? How did, he was how did zoning the guy. Help? He was zoning the guy, so he had to go to towards Ernest. What, what are you helping with? With my staff. What's, no, what oh. skill? Staff skill. You have a staff skill? Okay. I think it's staff. Let me check. Okay. Uh, everything's loading again. So it might even be that, like, Nico shot him in, in the leg, but he was still, like, hopping, and then you just tripped him. With the staff, I think like he probably saw the two guys that were armed and like turned to turn around, and then he saw Edwin was also armed, and he had nowhere to go. Yeah, so he skeletal tried to hand escape. possibly mysteriously closing around his foot. Yeah, Edwin is actually dual wielding right now. He has a staff in both hands. That's not dual wielding. <laughs> Well, that, well, the helping die didn't help. So no. apparently, he died from an infection very quickly from the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um. Okay. So that's done. Except Ernest just like man, puts his mace back on his belt, like just sort of rotates to face to face the entire rest of the cavern. Uh, still, sort of, he's still in the way of the entrance. Um, and yeah, he just sort of is now idle. Okay. Yeah, like all the other worker bees and over, they're all just like, you know, they're they're all pretty freaked out right now. Anyway, it's just really okay. upset about this. Ernest is not someone to say something about this. He's seen it before, okay. so he doesn't try to explain it to them or calm them. Does Edwin think he like got all the information out of Yvonne that he wanted to get out, or? Edwin had a purpose for Ivan. Especially now that the artifact is being handed over to the organization, he still has to have belief that they're a group of brigands and thieves. 
So he's really upset. Why didn't you just tell me not to kill him? Does he, does because he, now what, what my beliefs you? were in conflict, and I had to choose ah. which belief was more important. Awesome. And this time I decided that preventing Ivan from telling what he knows was more important than the conspiracy being a group of brigands and thieves. So are you going to address Ernest about your displeasure right now? Or? I'm in expecting front of someone all these to guys. say something. If no one is saying something, then I will actually address like the three people who are just and Ned Kirill if he's also stunned. So he, I assume he's probably less stunned and more still recovering. Because this is a minute after. From being hit in the face. Wait, what? I punched him in the face. So I assume he's less shocked and stunned from a person dying than the rest of them. Yeah, yeah. He's not as like traumatized or anything. He's just kind of like, alright. Dead okay. guy. Um, so I think what Ernest does is he just sort of like <coughs> explains the situation to them. Um, of course, he has only been in the army, and so if this is more like a military debriefing in a way. He will actually like put his hands behind his back and like walk like two steps and then he'll, he'll like pace, but, but it's such a small hallway that he can only like take two steps and then turn around and then take two more steps and then turn around. Mm -hmm. uh, and he basically explains like if in like a loud tone that I don't think neither Nico nor uh, Edwin Edwin maybe rarely Nico I don't think has ever heard Ernest take this before. Um, this is Ernest calling back to when he was an actual squad sergeant in the army. So right, we right. that tone, and he was he's basically explaining that we like it is an, an unfortunate. It is an unfortunate occurrence that this man had to die. But if he did not die here and now, many more would have died. And he continues on like that, like the greater good was basically his right, uh, right. shtick. So, um, what are you trying to do with this? My intent is to make them sympathize with us enough that they will still will not tell anyone. Okay. Uh, I would like to use the command skill. Uh, I figured you're, you're gunning for that. Yes. Um, Alright, sure. Okay. I can help with persuade if you, if you need it. Um, what do you say? I, I'm... I, I'll look at them all and be like, look, it was it's for the best that he died. If he got out of here and told his folks about what's going on here, they'd come after your families. Edwin is I just, just like, probably like do this and towards you, Nico. Like I, I can't see yeah, I do like a pointy finger snap towards you. Like that is perfectly <laughs> right. And then I continue on because that was probably in the middle of like a, during a pause in my tirade that you said that. I'm wondering if that's more fal falsehood or persuasion. Um, yes, probably falsehood, actually. What's your or, falsehood at? Yeah. Five, so he gets two. Yeah, so you get two on that. Okay. Um, well, anyway, it's just two. like, don't put it like this. You know, you have to be, these aren't soldiers, Ernest. Just be a little <laughs> bit more gentle. Uh, are you doing that right here and now? Yes. Okay. I'll help you. Uh, I'm with rhetoric. How are, that sounds like hindering. Yeah, that sounds like hindering. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, you're telling me I mean, I'm not if, a very good job at talking in the middle, like, yeah, in front if, of if you were to restate it to them in a logical manner rather than the... You just cut out again for me. Don't help me. Am I the only one who can't talk now? Let me rejoin the call. Oh, well, this is weird. Uh, hold on. Oh, am I hosting the call? Somehow... End the call that we're in. Oh, 
Oh boy. Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. Why is my video not working? I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to turn it on. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Are you guys seeing my video? Because I'm not. Uh, we got a circle. No. I'm just going to wait for it to load. Them. It, okay. Um, so, Lord Edwin, how are you helping my case in regards to this was short term bad, long term good? I feel like I should be able to just you know, give you advice quietly. But well, well, Zen was saying a suggestion where, like, you, you were, like, logically, logically, like, rephrasing yeah. what the soldier rhetoric was, mm -hmm. or whatever, to a more... A more... Someone that a simple villager would understand. Right. Alright, yeah, I can do that. And may I ask what the ob is for this? I'm looking at command right now. Cool. It's, it's got to be Will, I'm guessing. Probably. Yeah. So probably four. It's going to be a tough one. Even with all well, the command, command is like supposed to be used in like fight and range and cover, so like the ob is weird. I actually know that. Cool. Yeah, you use it to stop him from hesitating. Yeah. Hmm. It's used in like linked tests for like tactics and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna say, yeah. I'm gonna say it's uh, the the average will of the group, so four. I guess maybe. Oops! Oops! Hold on. Ernest could uh, have I... used command to undo my hesitation after my modifiers three, Arthur zero, base obstacle four. Do I have any sixes? I do have a six. I'm spending off that fate. Oh! 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 Ah! Oh. <laughs> so I failed right. by one. You failed by one. Wow. With your intent being to keep everyone calm and not saying stuff. All right. If I fail by one, maybe just, now, like we wouldn't know, but maybe one of them eventually might talk, uh, and two of them won't, or something. Uh, maybe we should just make a ruling on this. But okay, we. With the let it ride thing, since we helped, can I, am I prevented from saying, all right, well, I'm just going to try to persuade them to shut the fuck up about it? Or? I don't think it makes sense if you do that. Like, because we yeah, can tell that they're. Or, yeah, everyone participated in this, so that's kind of what happened. Okay. That, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I, I wasn't going to, I just, I just wanted to. Get a table yeah. ruling on like. I think regardless yeah. of if we help or not, uh, that's right. Because otherwise, we have to make a determination. Then can Ernest yeah. help after he rolls? It'll be like the, the situation has changed. It's just a different person doing in the same situation. At the best, yeah. we could have argued it would be a link test, but I don't think so. No, helping is better than link testing. If you yes. have a different intent. That I would say you could try. Unless you want me to kill them, but I assume you don't. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say. Well, now we gotta kill them all. I got five arrows. Um. <laughs> so, Sith, does anything happen, uh, or do they just sort of meekly, quietly listen? Um. Yeah, I think they kind of like meekly, sort of. Uh, uh huh. Uh -huh. Like, they're just sort of nodding and like, yeah, yeah, what you say, yeah, totally, like... They're totally in shock and scared. Yeah. yeah. Please, please, don't, I tried. please don't kill us like you did that guy over there. Yeah. <laughs> For telling people. Yeah, he was going to tell people, and that's why you killed him. Okay. Well, they seem to be pretty calm, so... Nothing I can do anymore. They're a, in a little excited, agitated state, but they're sort of coming back to grips. It's reality. Okay. Alright. So Here we go. Should we move on to looting this this ruin? <laughs> yeah, let's loot this thing. You guys have any ideas? Okay. Um, well I was gonna 
pull some rope out of my bag, and hopefully my bag stays full of stuff. We don't know yet. Um, Can you actually pull out what, what is this? I mean, uh, are we going by D&D &D rules where rope is 50 feet? Or, like, how long of a rope is standard for people to keep in traveling here? Enough. All right. All right. I'm not really paying attention to it. <coughs> All right. Did, so, did Nico is Nico using his traveling gear to pull out a second thing of rope? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, roll a die of fate. Damn. Oh wow. Oh. Um, that's all right. Are, I got a cash die. Yeah. You, <laughs> yeah. You you do not have any more traveling gear. Okay, but uh, I do have the rope. Yes. Okay. That's fine. So I'll cut the rope into, you know, 15 foot lengths, whatever. Four of them. Mm -hmm. And we can oh, okay. yeah. secure them around the, uh, around the, or around the crystals and yank them out simultaneously. Okay. Well, everybody is like looking at this. And... Are you? Are you? The three of us and we need one. Other person. Um, well, I don't have the not skill, but um, this is probably scavenging or obscure scavenging. Yeah, I really don't have a skill for that. Neither yeah. do I. Am I learning the not skill? I have one test in learning knots, so that's the thing. If you want to be the one to do it, yep. Well, Edwin will tie like, the rope once again. Sure. He'll like yeah. take the uh, bits of bits of well, tent and wrap. Actually, them it's guns. an agility test, and my agility is what? four. Is it yours oh. like five or six? Wait, my, mine's this four as well. sounds like a big series of tests. This is a. I'm gonna do this as a big length test. Okay. Uh, there's some sort of <coughs> securing thing. Then then there's, there's some the sort of other thing. thing, and then there's like actually getting the gems part. Okay, cool. Okay. So, yeah, I can do the knots part of the linked test then, just to tie the rope okay. around the four gems. Yep. Who's I guess Ed Wayne was like, Doctor uh, Who? That my, yeah, that would be my girlfriend playing a Doctor Who game on her tablet. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they recognize the sound. You're getting a big thumbs up, Seth. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? So I'll make an odds test then for the first part of link test. May I ask what the ob is? Sure. So you're using knots to sort of secure the... To tie rope around each of the gems. Tie rope around each of the gems. All right. And I, I don't think it needs to be super tight. We just need to pull it. Okay. Yeah, just so it's sort of... I don't want it to be... Around the... Gem and or stalagmite. Yeah, it in, in just a way needs to dislodge the gem mostly. Dislodge the gem. And, um, okay. Hopefully, pull it out. Right. Okay. I am gonna well, look maybe, up. Maybe we could do this a little bit differently. Then, if we don't tie it, we could just like loop it around. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe like put a little, I don't, something like a sling uh, holster around it, so it's like. Oh yeah, like you're on right. the rope. Like I was right. saying, so what Edwin would do it. is he would take the piece of tent. And he would wrap them around the gems and make like a little bag, not just to grab it, but also to cushion the gems so they don't shatter while we're pulling on them, like animals. Gems are, if they're normal gems at least, they're rocks, and so they'll be fine. Well, you don't want to break the, the cuts, you know? You don't want to fracture them. Is, are they already cut, gems, Sith? Like they're... Well, they're they, yeah, they look like, like the orbs. Spheres. They're virtually indistinguishable from the orbs. Oh, okay. so they are they're they're smooth. Spheres. Yeah, they're spheres. Okay. It's a pretty cool. good cut. So, yeah, then in that case, you're right. Um, okay. I don't think I have it. Well, no, I, I'm going to be working both patiently and carefully, I think, are the two. And I will toss you a, a help. Okay. Right, I'll so. go up there with you. How are you helping yeah. me? Uh, since it's a stat roll, just with my agility as well. Uh... Can I thought skills can help stats, but not the other way around. You can't help me with agility. Oh no, because this is because I'm not learning this. It's an agility test. We're good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Making a carrying harness. 
is uh -oh. ob one and nuts. Okay, so that's the first part of the link test, making the knots. Uh, the second part is two eighty. Then the second part is tying it. Yeah, I don't have knots. Okay. Well, I'll... But just making the carrying harness is, is, is good, and then we can just loop it around. We don't have to tie it on with the knots. So that's you've got true. an ob one so knots test. Okay. So we're trying to ob one knots test. I'm doing an ob one knots test. Okay. I failed an ob one knots test, guys. With oh fucking boy. six dice. With six <laughs> dice. I got one success. And I, I no sixes either. My one success was not a six. So somehow, I... Yeah. Well. Okay. So, so that was sort of the harness to make everything fall properly. Yes. Uh, we were, you were then going to do some sort of setup, I think Zen was saying? Uh, well, we were originally yeah. going to tie regular rope around the gems, but now I guess we're just going to place the harnesses on the gems, like on the inside part, and so when we pull it, it'll just pull the gems out. Okay. Yeah. Get behind it. Um, yeah, so I don't know if we have to make a test at all. I don't know if we have to make a test at all to I might need to harness. make a test to make sure we don't set off the trap. Yeah. That'll probably be part of what happens if we fail a test. And uh, luckily this is part of a linked test, so... It's not just yeah, good. there's well, some I mean, sort we gotta, of... We yeah, I don't know what... Rope around them, so we might, that yeah. might include like accidentally knocking it off. I think, it's, I think it warrants a test. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Especially if this is not so well. I just don't know what kind of. I, I don't know the skill. It might just be an agility test. Yeah, I would say. Or um. To be yeah, like, let, me, let me read that. Hold on. It's a, it's a scavenging test. Yeah, that's it's true. The same thing as popping the orb out. Is uh does a certain Lord Edwin have uh obscure scavenging? Does he want to do that? I have both obscure well, scavenging and scavenging. But I think that Seth is saying he wants to use that for the final roll. Oh, for yeah. the final roll. Okay, so you're going to be the one. Yeah, this isn't this isn't popping anything out. I was hold on. I'm trying to figure out where. Edwin still there. has an agility I, six. By the way. Okay, so you should be doing all of these checks. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you did you help Edwin with that? Yes. Oh, you did. Oh, I guess we should have gotten extra die. I didn't know you helped yeah, at all. I didn't put in any dies. I okay, put we'll in put in one plus die. two dice. I might right. succeed on this. I didn't realize you were helping. Okay. There it and is. I did. already spent an Arthur. No, I didn't. I spent an Arthur for the next one. So never mind. Um, okay, so the harness has worked. So the harness is good. <laughs> okay. I did not know you I were helping. Figured it out. Okay, so you met. I the met obstacle. the obstacle, yes. Okay. It's equal. Uh, if. Do you, well, without telling me the consequences, should I spend Arthur to roll my six? If you worked carefully, uh, or what was the other one? Patiently? Yeah. Um, I have so There is fate. a thing for going above. I have 11 fate, so I'm going to spend an Arthur. I might as well. I have so many. 11 fate, fate yeah. Yeah, so I spent right. one, didn't get anything, but hey, I got one. Okay. Knots. You probably uh, wouldn't have got anything, anyhow. Can you get. Can you spend Arthur on. Oh, no. It counts as uh, spending Arthur for agility. Never mind. So, uh, here's how I think the next two things will go. Uh, <coughs> there will be an agility test to place all the harnesses, and then someone is going to need to make a speed test with the other three helping them to everyone sort of coordinate it at the same time, everything apart. All right, so to min-max this, uh, Edwin should do the agility test. I should do the speed test. Okay. Okay. Because he's got six agility. Yeah, I'm, five. I, I'm assuming Kirill is the fourth? Uh, you, yeah. Yeah, okay. makes sense. Yeah, he's got a motivation to get these things out. Yeah. Yep. And he's a merchant, and he really wants those gems himself as well. He does want a gem, yes. All right, um, so uh, are you guys helping me we never this? Before we go on, actually, we never explicitly stated how many gems there were. Mm. Four? There are four? Four. Okay. Yeah. I thought we were. We, we, we did. Okay. Sort of. I missed hey, it, was ev it, it was every other orb, and there's eight orbs. So There are eight orbs. Okay. So are you guys helping anyway? Um, yeah, I can toss you a, a help with agility. Okay. What are you doing? 
Um, I'm helping you. One of you guys could like <laughs> hold I'm, the artifact, and make sure it doesn't move while I'm putting out the harness, and maybe one of you guys can just be handing me the harnesses and Ernest, fitting the rope so that I don't get knots in it. Would it would it be feasible for Ernest to help with power by saying that if this goes bad, he's going to pull Edwin out? Uh, I don't know if that's helping in the. In I, don't, I don't think situation. that's helping. Okay. Uh, that might be helping if things do go bad, and then I pull and I pull him out. But just saying that, I don't think helps. Um, I can't help. help with a skill I'm learning, can I? Uh, being learned, no. 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 Um. So, can I help with soldiering by just like doing the menial labor of like, yeah, doing the menial labor of holding the harnesses and like helping him, or can I just uh, like I don't think I have a skill. I guess I could. I don't think I could help with my command skill by showing him how the harnesses go. Could I? That's um, that's rigging. Yeah. Okay. And I don't think you have that one. I do not. So I don't think I can help. I mean, it's a it's a stat test, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. I, I, I'll yeah. help so with my could... agility. I'll help with my agility. Oh, uh, technically, from... actually, hold on, wait. This could be rigging. Sorry, let me. You know, if it's a harness, yeah. If it's a. Oh my gosh! I opened right to it. It's rigging for me. That's nothing to do with sailing, though. Oh, this is no, no. Never mind. It's not rigging. Okay. Okay. So oh, it's just it a straight not. agility test. You could argue it was a marrying. I will. Well, the main I, thing we want to do is put them on there, but the most important thing is not to trigger them or yeah, uh, and yeah, unbalance to, them. And, and to that end, I will retract what I said about agility. I will help with perception. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay. And that's two die for me because that's okay. a five. Nice. And how are you helping at all, Ernest? Um. I think I'm just using my agility to literally physically like help you balance it because maybe like one of us are yeah. on each side, but you're the. So it needs to hold it in case I accidentally nudge it or something. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, I'm your so backup. Is that a one dice from you? One dice from me. All right. Uh, Plus please? one for the uh, link test or no? No. Nope. Uh, we met the link test, so. Okay. So obstacle. Ob is three. Come on, dice. Nice. Cool. Nice. 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 Do you want to spend Artha just to have Artha spent in your agility to maybe eventually no. get it to three? Absolutely not. I keep forgetting to track that shit. Will that actually help? Because I'm already beating it by two. Uh, well, I assume we were working patiently and carefully. Is that true? Sure. Oh, I guess I should have yeah. had the dice for this so no. Yeah, it, it sounds from the narrator that we are working patiently and carefully. It, it sounds yeah. like everything is set up and everything's good to go. I'll roll yeah. another die from okay. that then. And then yeah. also your die helps, uh, basically help makes it extra secure. Okay. What I mean, you, you beat the thing if you're working Oh yeah, carefully. sure. I mean, we're definitely narratively working carefully. So that just means it's we're super secure, yeah. narratively. Okay. Um, okay. okay. Next test. It's the all-important speed test to pull this thing out. Yes. Yep. So I would like to help with my power by pulling hard and fast. Okay. Um, working carefully and patiently, do, do either of those actually apply here? I mean, because it's, it's just a yank. <laughs> I think carefully can always apply, <laughs> but I don't know if patiently can apply. It's probably yeah, only uh... carefully that you're not going to get crushed. Because you are careful think, not to think... get crushed, right? Careful is you can always do careful because it's just being it's not necessarily extra time taken. Patiently is the Care careful. Yeah, careful takes successes. Wait. Yeah, careful. Oh. Careful is extra successes. Patient is plus one die. And I could just say we're we're working patiently in the fact that like we're taking our time. I'm, I'm making sure everybody like syncs up with me. And do I'm some practice like, pulls, like you, know. you you do like of all like. No yeah. one's holding the rope, but you all do the pulling motion. Right, we're going <laughs> over the uh, escape it's, routes. It's the other way. It's, it's the, the other way? way? Okay, so carefully yeah, carefully gives you the yeah. Patiently is... Okay, so carefully, which I think would take less time. Yeah. Is, uh, yeah. So we can do both, uh, I think, yeah. before doing that. 
Yeah. No. All, uh, all that. All... We can't do patiently. That's based off of if you have extra successes at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I I want to declare it if it's a viable <laughs> thing to do. Yeah. I I'm yes, more patient. Carefully, so. carefully, we'll totally get you a plus one. Okay. okay. So. We can do both, and then we'll see if we actually get any successes. So we're like, we're going and over you get to another, you get... and... I'm sure no one's going to be crushed. Okay. Like, we're going over the escape plan for what happens if the roof starts coming down, the orb starts shattering, or we're making sure yeah. we understand who's going to grab We're, we're going jewel. over everything. So we don't yeah. have... Probably any... takes like 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's the I also one? imagine it's a lot of like the like... Nico like doing a lot of body language of like what well, you know what you know like yeah this right. is how you it's, right. properly it's, you know it's it's one two three go not one two go like <laughs> right yeah. wait do we go on three Shit. no we go after <laughs> three after three yeah. right yeah. so uh, like a lot of that's going on everybody's getting on the same page with that okay, uh so. Kirill Kirill will definitely help with uh, his uh, agility or speed as well just to make sure everything's sort of yeah going on the same tempo. So, my power so gives you a plus two. Okay. Uh, um, all right. So let's let's figure out all the uh, all the yeah. odds. All the odds. What what are the modifiers you have so far? Um, I've got two from Ernest. Okay. I've got. I'm assuming one from uh, Edwin, or how how is Edwin helping? Do you? Oh, you have like. Yeah, with actually. speed? Am I helping with speed? You're, it's a speed roll, but it's up to you to determine what stat is I, going to help. Can I help with scavenging? But yeah, if you want, this is the scavenging roll. If you want to help with scavenging, is it you the can help stats. Role? You can help. No, it's not a scavenging roll, but I mean, this is the. This is. This could be like. Edwin will help with agility to pick up the items faster. Okay. So okay. what is. Uh, then your agility, agility is six, six right? so you get two dice. So that's a total okay, so that's, four. That's four so far, plus Kirill. Yeah. What's Kirill yeah. helping with, and is the stat higher than five? Uh, agility and no. Okay, so that's... Uh, it, yeah, it's exactly but you get five, an extra one from the uh, linked test as well. Okay, so that's six. So that's plus six. one from working patiently or carefully, whichever one gives yep. that. So that's seven. seven. Yep. So this is... And this is a 12-die roll. Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, it could go wrong. But if it does, I'm blaming you. Theoretically, we could all roll ones, but that's like literally one in a million. Not the so ob is four. four. Okay. Do I want to use a persona and make it 13 die? <laughs> that doesn't seem lucky to me. Okay. That's true. 12 is a lucky number. 13 is not. All right. So the ob is four. Well, three. You'll probably have some sixes to re-roll, which okay. is good. You better. On three. Two. After three. After no, three. Wait. After three. One. Two. Three. three. Pull. 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 And three. Pull. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> no that sixes. So close. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, so the dice gods are you cool. guys all you guys all pull and immediately all the gems sort of pop out all at once. And as soon as that happens, there's a big sort of <sighs> and then all of a sudden you hear this quick groan and then just the bottom just closes immediately down across where all the ice is still. You hear this big crunch uh, as and also the break of glass as well as all the other orbs have broken inside the cave. Uh, and so now the there is no more ice cube thing. That is all now inside the it's area. All, but everyone is on the outside of this, and there are now four large gems like in your hand or on the oh. floor next to you. Yeah. Uh, and you guys are good to go. You guys have four yes. D of cash to split up how you want. Nice. Well, Edwin Obviously, picks up the gems and starts passing them over. <laughs> I don't know if we should do one each or not. Like one to uh, Kira, one to each of us. You guys want me to hold these uh, for you? Yeah, I, I Kira is like, no. Can I hand him one? <laughs> like, I, I'm holding yeah, it out. Yeah. You guys are arguing about this. Okay. Well, I didn't think yeah. there was any arguing yet, so. Yeah. yeah we, we and we draw our weapons again. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> Do the wits over the damn gems. Right. Uh, no, but yeah, one each sounds fair. I don't know about you guys. Like, okay. Seems right. Okay. Cash. One. Well, no, it's odd. 10D. 10? Oh, I think it's 1D. 10D each, right? No, 10D for all four gems, right? He said 4D for, for the gems. Just split oh, up. Yeah. there a 1D Just split each. up how we want. So. Yeah, 1D yeah, each. 1D okay. Each. Cool. Nice. Well, that's uh, uh, hey, I might be able to get resources up. <laughs> yes, I might be able to, but mine, mine is zero, and now I might actually be able to do a thing. You can test it. I can. <laughs> we're, we're, we're coming up on the six month challenge sometime. Yeah, sometime. we are, yeah. In a half months. So, oh, like, yeah. All right, best. so we've gotten everything. Have we gotten everything out of the, the, out of the ruins that we wanted to? Yep, so that was pretty much anything all the. Left? That was pretty much the big uh, sort of looty stuff outside of uh, the, the actual artifact. Uh, well, I can't make this so, yeah, damage you, you guys could... anything else? There's nothing else, really. All right. You, you could pull an last poor Yorick with some of the bones that are out in the other room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can Ernest return to that room and make one last test to figure out what this stuff might be, just out of curiosity? <laughs> The, 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 red the, red, dust. the red dust in the other room, but just oh. past the door. Yeah, sure. Okay. This is just sort of like while we're leaving, he just stops and just like takes a moment to like look. Yeah, I'm gonna figure okay. this shit out. Like, okay. Yeah. This was his. This was his first test as a character, I think. <laughs> so, actually, that's not true. His first test was trying to fix that guy who who and ended up cutting his leg off. And yeah. Yep. Uh, oh, no, like, yeah, you tried a field dressing. It was what was the op horrible. two? Uh, sure. Can I work patiently and carefully? Uh, inside this shit. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like staying. Well, one else. All right, you know, what? like you, 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 you pretty much figure out that it's dried blood. Like, do I, can I get a test though? Because I want. <laughs> Not really. Uh, uh, oh, more about the dry blood. Really? You yeah. graduated test. How old is this dry blood? Approximate. What is the time of death? What's the iron content? <laughs> it's probably pure iron now. Because remember, I threw it in the water and didn't dissolve or make a, a blood stain in the water. It just was dust in the water. No, it just sort of clumped. Yeah, I believe. Which is what what it would do if it was just a clump of blood. Like it was. It's super old. Like it's not regular. It's incredibly old. It doesn't even yep. behave like blood anymore. Yep. It's basically iron. And that's it. Um, okay. Well, I continue on. Uh, and I think we just have like a montage of us ec- yeah. walking towards. Uh, well, let me first try to make one town. more last chance to see if we can get money out of this. Are there, are there writings on the walls worth anything? They might be to the mages guild. They might be to the roll whoever, uh, to whoever roll an is appraisal check. The oh, I don't have artifacts. An if someone else other than us are having the artifact at some point, it'll be very useful to them. What's appraisal here? I have to look up appraisal. appraisal. I'm guessing it's perception. Um, appraisal is uh, perception. Yes. Okay. All right, I'll go appraisal check. I can I can help you with two D. Okay. The, if you're learning it. Yeah, like. Definitely. I'm definitely learning it. Perception is black from me. Well, since I've been reading them for so long, can I say that I was working carefully? Uh, sure. All right. I think skills can help stats. Skills not, can help stats. Stats can't help skills. And they can't fork though. And you can't. You can't fork. No, if you're making you a stat roll, you can't learned. fork anything, and you can't. Right. Yeah. What apps would you like, Seth? Uh, uh, four. Come on, big money. Not with Oz eight. All right. So, uh, you think this stuff is worth a lot? 
Nice. Do you just want to take uh, like sketchings of it? Yeah, well, we already reasons. have Ivan Jordan's, and now he's dead, so I can keep them. But I might spend a night like making more careful rubbings of some of the stuff I think is most expensive. You use the blood. You, you can oh yeah, because we spent basically the entire day in the cave. You can use yeah, the probably dust, go outside, dust, sleep, and, and then the next day. Head well, back. it was like it was like early evening when you guys had the deal of wits. So like at this point, after you figured out how to secure the gems and everything, it's pretty much like nine or ten o'clock at night. Yeah, so we're all straight to right. bed. So you all go to sleep, we and Edwin is once again spending all night. This is like your second day in a row at being awake, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, I have to strap him to his yak to get him out of here. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I probably do the same thing. The I probably... We could have used the yak. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even think about it. That yak is, is sacred. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I probably show up again, like in the middle of the night. Well, uh, well what? Sleeping. What is Lord Edwin supposed to be doing? Uh, you're sen- you said you're spending you're staying up again all night taking rubbings of the drawings. Yes. Is that right? And maybe if I can, I'm like getting a chisel and like, but didn't you already have the rubbings? Oh, we lost there, Seth? And I- we he just totes. Yeah, he disappeared. I think he didn't hear me be- be- say what I always wanted to do. Okay. Because of connection issues. Now he'll usually come back, and he's back. He's back. It's loading in, but he's reconnecting now. I feel like that noose around his neck is bad luck. Yeah. Constraining the internet. It has yeah, I think you were going to say, don't pipes. you already have rubbings from, like, the notes and stuff? I already Might. said it, that I have... I, throw in the I, notes that's that's I already said I have Ivan's rubbings, but I said mm-hmm. specifically I was going to try and take additional yeah. rubbings, it is. better quality Most rubbings. Most awesome it is. Of the parts I thought were most valuable. Makes sense. Seth, you're back. Welcome back. Hey, yo. Hi, um, I'm back. I'm so clarify. I assume we're going to ask if he already had the uh, things? Yeah, yeah. I was like, he already has rubbings of pretty much everything. Yep. So I, w- I just wasn't sure what he was spending the night doing. I am spending the night either getting better rubbings, the parts I think are most expensive, or trying to remove parts of the inscription from the wall with the chisel. Okay, so which which one of those do you want to do? Well, let's try getting the pieces of rock. Sounds better to me. Okay. Oh, can I use my uh, scavenging rolls for this? Yes. All right. Obscure scavenging? Or it's just regular scavenging? Yeah, this is obscure sca- Okay. This is obscure scavenging. And I'll help with my scavenging roll. Uh, are any other of the knowledge skills affect this at all? Uh... Sure. All right. So ancient languages, specifically trying to get the best part of the language. Right, right. Ancient history, obscure history. So I'm trying to find parts of it that are most historically valuable. Uh, Yeah, I don't think we need some knowledge in that. So let's see here. That's plus four dice, and this is six. I can, add, I can have up to six dice. Cool. Uh, what do you want the ops to be? Uh, up four. All right. Let me so just check right this here. I would like a difficult test. So, some player's guide one. I mean. Where, where are you doing this? In the cave. I'm spending all just, night just doing to be, this. Yeah, I, I'm just saying, like, what part of the cave are you doing this in? Because, like, I think there was the part of the walls that had writing on them also had orbs in them. 
Yeah. yeah, that was near the entrance, and then there was the deeper part in. <laughs> and then there was okay. also yeah, so no, I just wanted to, like the back room. Okay. And I may have done some of this earlier too. Uh, yeah, I just did, I just didn't want you to like flub the roll and like all of a sudden all the orbs go off and <laughs> the rest yeah. of us are in the camp sleeping and you just hear a shattering glass. <laughs> like, oh. I'm going to go take that gem of his. So I can roll five <laughs> dice and still have a difficult roll. But I'm going to add two to the roll. Let me check. All of those are routine, yep, so none of them counted for stat tests. Cool. Let's see what I get here. Nice. All right. Cool. So yeah, so you, you, over the course of the night, you get like... Uh, two big tablets you, you think you could take and sell for quite a penny. Sweet. The next morning when Nico sees them, he's like, I'm not carrying those. <laughs> yeah, I think that uh, Ernest... Well, two things. One, Ernest totally shows up again a couple of times in the night being like... Uh, basically the same thing as before like are you sure you don't want to go to sleep we got the artifact we got the gems we're good to go uh are you sure those are actually valuable are they worth your time because it's your second day up this is like you've been up for like 48 hours right uh so yeah this. uh roll a uh port what else would you like test uh let's see uh this is your second night in a row uh-huh uh i'll i'll Four plus one, so op five. Okay. Is Ernest helping me stay awake with his nagging? No, I'm actually trying to make you go to sleep. Curse you! So I... <laughs> Curse you! Ernest in the in your oh, no. ear, singing sweet lullabies. This is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, all right. So you are extremely tired this next day. Uh, anything okay. you take until you have a good number of hours sleep yep. uh, will be at a minus one. All right. This counts. Okay. I would also. I have a question. Uh, I would like to voluntarily use my um, my trait light sleeper to also be in this state. Light sleeper is more of like waking up easily, not <laughs> sleeping less. Okay, I can't use it like an instinct where it just it gets me into trouble. Oh. Okay, cool. Um, then I think we start packing up and just leaving and going to okay. Skov, dropping off the three yep. people, and then going to the boat. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to send a note ahead to Amelia about um, you know we're on our way. We got the thing. Okay, from Scott? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so... Uh, wouldn't, like, the way mail systems work, wouldn't it be faster if we just went there ourselves? Yeah. Just in case something happens. Oh, okay, sure, in case. Cool. So where are we going after Scott? I asked Nico. Well, you see, he doesn't really know. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go home. Well, um, yeah, maybe I, my words. If it really is a relationship, something. you can you probably know where she is. Yeah, yeah. I, I assume I'm just going to Amelia. Oh, uh, you mean you as a player? Okay. Yeah. Right. Where's Amelia? Yeah, I don't I, know. I, I assume Nico would know a collection point or something to take what he yeah. wants. Yeah. Uh, okay. That is within your realm of knowledge. Okay. So let's say uh, where is up to you. You see this volcano some, here? This one? Yeah, it would be someplace <laughs> remote. So a uh, different island, even. Wow. Yeah, um, uh, odds are. All right, well, I'm like, let's get back to civilization, get a proper ship for an inner island journey. Okay. I, I think, I think this island just south of Cadenfell. This nondescript little oh, island, yeah. but sort lots of off of, the shipping lanes. But lots of boats probably go past, like somewhat past it, because it's. Uh, you know, Here's the yeah. three biggest islands, and by three sure. biggest, the not every the second, third, and fourth biggest. Uh, 
Okay, so that's where we're heading. That is a while away. So let's see. Yeah, let's uh, let's go back home and get a better boat. Oh wait, no, we have to. Let's go this way. That's probably faster. So I'll measure it. If are we doing anything else? Actually, it's seventy-five miles. All right. So yeah. Um. So the next day, you guys like take all your stuff. Like, do you pack anything else from any of the campsites or anything? Or uh, uh, we take whatever the yak carry. Yeah, I'll, I'll like <laughs> you, you like came with like a wagon and stuff. Like, and oh, most okay. you, you actually weren't there long enough this time to like yep. unpack a lot. Yeah. Uh, so like a lot. There's like there's still a lot of remaining from like the other expedition that was there. You know, yeah. there's there's other things around. That could be done. Loot that soon. I think and we all scrounge it for valuables. And before we leave, we need to make we need to erase as much footprint as we can from here. Oh, and I, I practiced it for an hour with my mace last night sometime because that's my instinct. Okay. Uh, how do you how do you erase evidence of being there, uh, Nika? Um, I guess that's not something I can do with inconspicuous. No. Um. Stealthy? Is that an application of stealthy? I mean, it's an obscure application, but... Right, right. I have a thought that would be <coughs> stealthy. Also, we can use scavenging to replenish Nico's traveling kit. Nice. So I'll do right. that if you allow me. Sure. Sure. Uh, up to. Okay. Uh, sure. Stealthy. Stealthy will work. Okay. Um, Ob. Um. Or do you just want it like? I should roll a graduated, and it'll be, like, tested against if someone happens to it's, come and it's look. Not gonna, it's, it's not going to be tested against. Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to say ob3, because it's okay. difficult and will require conversation, but it's a very large area. Mm -hmm. So, uh, add a plus one to that, so your total is ob4. Ob4, shit. We have five. This isn't going to go well. But, you know, it'll be a test. I, but, like I mean, you're, you're trying to, like, you know, put behind your whole... You're supposed to er erase your presence and everyone else's presence from the campsite, from the ruins, from the area yeah. in between all of that. Like, it's a big area, so yeah. it, it's difficult. Uh, okay. You don't find another traveling here, sorry. Nope, I do okay. not. Keep doing that. Keep putting the ob in the modifier. Pissing me off. Ob four. Okay. okay. Well, you know. Cool. It's not great, but it'll it'll work. Yep. And that's a difficult still. You, you forgot to hide a few things. Yep. But it's I just like under the rug. Tests, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I believe Sis was trying to tell us we should take a break. I was saying once we figure out what's Everything. going on. Once, yeah. Okay. So, what Which else we, we want to do yet. before we head out to Skog? Well, I was gonna montage that part. Yeah, I just uh, like before we move on. Is there anything else that anyone wants to do? Um, so we gathered up all of the all of the stuff we can, right? Or do we need to roll for that? Yeah. So that probably took you half of the next day. Okay. And are, so if are you wanted things... to leave if you wanted to leave for scalp on that day, you would be getting it very late at night. Okay. Are are the things that we just gathered um fungible goods when we hit Skov? Like can we sell them for cash? You're you're trying to sell like a Weird artifact thing. Oh no no! Like the 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 town village. 
not the weird artifact stuff, like like the tents and you know that kind of crap. Oh, um, how would you do that? Um, I'd either see if Kirill wants to buy it from us, or go to Skov and, and sell it, or find some place along the way to sell it. Okay. Uh, so, make a haggling roll. Okay. Uh, well, hold uh, on. Let me... I'm wanting uh, to learn this. Let's see here. Actually, wait. Roll a... Because you're, you're, you're trying to find someone to sell it to. That is a circle's test. Okay. I have an idea. But I don't. That might be possible. Get, I'm gonna uh, but on. this this is getting more complicated than I thought we were gonna do. So we can take that break now. <laughs> Let's take the break now. I just got told that the eclipse is starting. Um, that I think what was starting? Take about yeah, the eclipse. I'll take about an hour for it to be in full swing. But apparently, oh, I didn't even know there was an eclipse. Yeah, it's the, yeah, it's the, the blood moon, man. We're all gonna die. <laughs> that yeah. that explains the crashing I heard earlier. I think it was yeah. meteor. All right, just want to let you guys know, and I'll be right back. Bye, guys. Okay.